Good evening, Lorenz Rydell. Good evening, General Strakowski. Do you know why you have been summoned? Yes, I do. It has come to my attention that you are advancing on Vera Station. And since I have some affiliations with some of the people who work there, you've called me in for basically an interrogation. Let's start from the beginning. Where did you come from? I was born in Slovenia in 1978, where I had a minor case of Tourette's Syndrome, which was often marked about in my early years. This and the death of my elder sister made me the man I am now. It was thanks to my anger that I joined the East German Air Force where I was assigned to the 5th Secret Fighter Squadron as GOLT-7 and also became a test pilot working for many companies such as Mikoyan Gurevich and the Enigmatic Condor Industries. I flew with the unit until their sudden appearance in the early months of when the US was invading Iraq. We then resurfaced when the leader of my squadron, one Anton Kapchenko, led the Serpent of Infinite Expanse uprising in December of 1995. I was never willing to take part as a terrorist, but personal motivation for revenge kept me in. So on December 31st of 1995, you and your unit engaged the Garmer team to prevent them from arriving to Avalon Dam where the launch of the V-2 missile would take place. That's right. I escaped from my burning wreckage of an SU-47 and survived the engagement, only to disappear shortly thereafter. U.S. Special Forces were investigating reports of sightings in Seattle, but you were never found and were filed as missing in action. I was in Friday Harbor, yes. At some point after the war, I left the U.S. continent and traveled to the World Alliance military as one of the many war exiles expelled from my own country. In 2014, I fought in the invasion as part of the 7th Task Force in hopes of redeeming myself, even if I remained, in the eyes of others, a former villain. I fly for a new future, a future where I'm part of the shining light for freedom, and not my adversary. Tell me about the companies you worked for. I don't know much about my clients. Condor Industries. So Condor was serving the Warsaw Pact as a whole, not just East Germany? Yes, yes, it was hired as a clandestine supplier for Iraq. Iraq's leader asked for supplies. And the Soviets answered. I was also given addresses. What were they? Let me explore the depths of my barracks. I'm sure I will find it somewhere. Here it is. You're lucky that I was able to spare it. It would have surely vanished with all the rest of the unused documents. Lorenz Rydell, the Soviet Union has acknowledged your squadron's efforts as a test pilot for the East German VVS. Please stand by for a transition to serve your block in providing aircraft to our customer of Iraq. Addresses Condor Factory 12 7th Street Vera, Grunda Drive Sudentor Station, Avalon Dam, Russia. Note, these locations cannot be accessed through conventional means of transportation. You've never breathed a word of Avalon. Why? No one asked, General. If Kopchenko was still alive now, he'd probably feel betrayed. Well, no matter. We're about to advance on Vera anyway. If Condor Industries is still working there, chances are we'll uncover some secret weapons once we take it over. And you're going to bomb it off the face of the Earth? It's not a Russian city. It's a station supplying the Strogans. 
We must remove these facilities, or the entire nation will be overrun. But General, with those strato fortresses, if we have to do that job, we could obliterate the whole of Western Asia. I don't want to obliterate the whole of Western Asia. It's a deterrent. It's a bluff. I probably wouldn't use them. Yes, but they don't know that you probably wouldn't. They probably do. Yes, they probably know that you probably wouldn't, but they can't certainly know. They probably certainly know that I probably wouldn't. Yes, but even though they probably certainly know that you probably wouldn't, they don't certainly know that although that you probably would, there's no probability that you certainly would. What? Be careful in using bombers. For such extreme damage could anger the Strogans. They would have a desire for revenge. This is Eli to Stealth Flight. Neutralize the enemy radar network so our bombers can pass through safely. Roger that. Reaper, let's get to work. Zero, do not use your ordnance until I give you permission. We'll need at least some strength for the next phase. This is the Kazakh Sparrow Flight. We'll be escorting the bombers. Chanko, the meeting is in session. The meeting is now in session. So, Kopchenko, I take it that the uprising is going as planned? Of course, the uprising will commence shortly. Hmm. What is that noise? Ravaker, a flight of Waldemar's bombers is closing in on Vera. <laughs> Vera, damn. So now they're destroying Vera. Send out an order. I want Vera abandoned, but it shall not be evacuated until all its resources have been destroyed. We shall leave them nothing. The meeting shall continue. The idiots don't even know where we are. You say that like there's a second possibility. Stroke and forces are beginning to take flight. The industrial station of Vera is crucial to the enemy's industrial strategy and the heart of its war productions. The Allied forces have requested that all stroke and war production must be stopped to expedite the end of the war and has requested our participation in this operation. The operation will primarily involve the bombing of ground facilities by the Allied Forces bombers. Our mission is to support those bombers and attack enemy facilities. We have achieved near total air supremacy on the target area, but don't let your guard down. There may still be sporadic resistance.
confirmed a burning city up ahead. That must mean the bombing started. Conquer the Allied bombers. Eliminate all enemy air and ground threats. Let's move. Stronger's ability to counterattack. Priority is placed on destruction over accuracy. Initiate bombing sequence. Drop them all. Turn into ashes. That's not enough. Drop more bombs. I thought they were on a precision bombing mission. They're just tossing bombs all over the place. Stealth. 
mercenaries. Well, we'll be moving on from here. Thanks. Down all Strelkin fighters. Eight North civilians and crewmen. Our priority is withdrawing the troops and high staff out of the area. Abandon Block D. Join up with the 5th Company from Block C. Don't leave anything behind for the Allied forces. Mission objective fulfilled. All units return to base. Damn them all. Nobody knew why they were fighting anymore. All I felt at that point was sadness for the world. That's why I...